welcome back to another one of my taste test videos. Today I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I decided to try some Creole food. So I went to this place called Food Shop. Look at that. Okay, so I went to this little place called The Food Shop and they're supposed to be famous for their homemade Creole food and I've never had Creole food before. Um, it, it's something that like it's a flavor that like I just have not tasted because I've never been to Louisiana, you know, I, I, I have not really been to the South. So I haven't really had um, those kind of flavors before and so I really wanted to try it. So let me show you what I got. So I got this. I don't know if you can, it's gonna focus on this, but this is pasta yaya. It has pasta, it has, looks like it has sausage and it has shrimp. It looks really good. I've heard really good things about that. I also got the red beans and rice because I love red beans and rice. So I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. And then for dessert, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. I got the famous bread pudding. They are known for their bread pudding. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And this is a Lilikoi lemonade and they're supposed to be known for their homemade Lilikoi lemonade as well. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna try the pasta yaya and I am so excited and I'm starving because this is the first day, my first day in Atlanta and I didn't eat like almost the whole day on the plane. So I am starving. So anyway, there it is. Like I like I said before, it has shrimp, it has sausage, pasta. It looks so good. All right, let me try a little bit of the shrimp first because oh my god, you gotta try the shrimp, right? Look at that. Look at all that steam coming out. It's so hot. It's freshly made. Let me try it. That is so good. Ooh, it's a little bit spicy, but not too much. Mmm. It has like just enough kick to it that it gives it like a really nice, almost spicy flavor, but not so spicy that I cannot handle it. Because if you know me, you know that I really don't eat spicy foods that much. This is the pasta. Let me taste it. Okay, so the pasta is like a swirl pasta. It's really good. And yeah, it is getting a little bit spicy. The more that I'm eating it, it's starting to get a little hot in the back of my throat. But it's still really good. It's very tasty. Mmm. Okay, let me see what this is. This is a sausage. Let me try that. Mmm. That is so good. Okay, what I have to say about this is that it may be a little bit spicy for me. I mean, it's not spicy for most people. I'm sure most people are going to think this is not spicy at all. It's a little spicy for me, but it's so good. The flavor is so good. I really like this. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to try is the beans and rice, red beans and rice. I love red beans and rice. I think this is going to be really good. I just want to see how spicy it is. Anyway, they give you a lot. Like I said, this is the regular size. It's not even like the full size. Look at that. That is so good. Oh my goodness. You can taste like meat in there. You can taste like bacon. I feel like I can taste bacon. But, and it has a really good savory flavor. It's not spicy at all. And that's what I really like about it. The flavor comes from like the meat inside. It is so good, so savory. It has like that really good like umami flavor. It's so, so good. Okay, so before I try my dessert, I want to try this Lilikoi lemonade. Like I said, they're supposed to be famous for their homemade Lilikoi lemonade. So let me try it. Ooh! That's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. That almost tastes like candy. That's really good. Okay, you know how a lemonade usually has like that tartness to it, that tang? You can tell that this is freshly squeezed because you can taste the lemon in there, but it's not really that strong. 
like I said, it almost tastes like candy. It's so good. Okay, finally, we're getting to what I really, really wanted to try. Ah, ever since I heard that they made really great bread pudding, I was like, I gotta go there and try it. You know, the other food was just like an excuse to get the bread pudding. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, look at this monster. It is so huge. That's crazy. When he brought it out, I was like, Oh my god, that's bigger than my food. <laughs> anyway, alright, that looks amazing. And it has some kind of glaze on it. It looks like it's a, I think it's a caramel sauce that they pour over it. But look at this monster. Okay, I'll try it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, I would go back just for this. This bread pudding is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, one thing I have to say is the consistency and the texture is so good of this bread pudding. I don't know if you can see, like, look at that in there. It is so, so good. It's like, it's like soft, it's like moist. It has flavor throughout. It's so good. And that light caramel sauce on the top, it really adds to it. It's not overly sweet, which is uh, what I really like about it. It has a sweetness to it, but it's not over sweet. That caramel sauce gives it just the right amount of sweetness. Oh, so good. I'm not sure what kind of bread they use for this, but whatever kind of bread they use for this is perfect because it's soft enough to like pick up all the, the good flavor of the caramel sauce but yet it's dense enough to like not be mushy. Sometimes when you get bread pudding, it's like a mush and I don't like that. But this one really holds up. The texture is really good because it's nice and firm, yet it still like soaks in the flavor. This is perfect. I love this. I think I'm gonna go back just to get this. Mm. So good. Okay, so everything was absolutely amazing at the food shop. I didn't expect this little tiny corner restaurant. Like, um, it's like right down the street from me. In fact, it's like right next door to my hotel. I didn't expect it to have such great food. The the staff the staffers there are excellent. They're very friendly and they're very nice and they're wonderful. But you wouldn't expect the food to be so awesome, but it really is. This is a great first meal in Atlanta. Anyway, if you are ever in Atlanta and you're in the downtown area, you should really check out the food shop because they have excellent Creole food. And I've never tried, um, you know, Louisiana style food before, never. And I really like it. And that's a surprise to me because I thought that it would be spicy and I thought they would have flavors that I just, you know, weren't used to and didn't like. But it was so good. Anyway, if you are in Atlanta, go down, check out the food shop, go support them. Support Atlanta's local businesses. But thank you very much for joining me. 